Coffee Break Spanish, Program 6. Buenos dias, how you do? We got something for you. A bit of Spanish you can try. It's not hard, now don't you cry. Mas cerveza, por favor. Un cafecito, I want more. No haggis here, I hope that's fine. Just a bit of Espanol online. Coffee Break. Espanol. You're in control. Just be resilient. One in Spanish is dead brilliant. Just be prepared. Mark and Kara will take you there. Now you're on a roll. Coffee Break Español. Bienvenidos a Coffee Break Spanish. Me llamo Mark y soy el profesor. Hola. Me llamo Kara y yo soy la estudiante. You're tuned in to Coffee Break Spanish and we're here to help you learn Spanish. Coffee Break Spanish will teach you the basics of the Spanish language and we'll be with you every step of the way. We've already covered a range of topics in the first few shows. If you're tuning in for the first time, visit our website where you can download past shows. You can learn Spanish with Coffee Break Spanish by spending just a short time each day listening to our programmes on your computer or on your MP3 player. Each programme lasts just 15 to 20 minutes, perhaps as long as your coffee break. So by joining us with a cup of your favourite coffee, you'll soon be speaking with confidence. Imagine the situation. You're on holiday in a Spanish-speaking country and you're sitting on the beach. There's a family sitting next to you. Everyone's talking in Spanish. You'd like to strike up a conversation, but you're just not sure where to start. One of the best ways to get talking is to introduce your family to others. We covered introductions last week. We'll be learning a bit more about families this week and we'll also be learning to count from 1 to 10. We have a very special guest with us today. If you were listening carefully last week, you should be able to work out who our guest is when he joins us later. There's lots to get through this week, so let's get straight on with the show. So last week we were talking about family. We learned the words for various members of your family and we also learned how to introduce them and see what their names were. We're going to go on with this today, but before we do, let's do a little bit of revision and see if you can remember some of the words that we covered last week. So Cara, I'm going to say the word in English and see if you can come up with a Spanish word. Give the listeners a chance to come up with the Spanish word first before you say them. Okay, here goes. Okay. First word is brother. Hermano. Hermano. Good. Now you remember that the H is silent. The H is always silent in Spanish. So what about the word for sister? Hermana. Hermana. That's right. Hermano for brother. Hermana for sister. Mother? Madre. Muy bien. Madre. Excellent pronunciation there, Cara. Gracias. <laughs> De nada. Okay. What about the word for wife? Mujer. Mujer, mujer. And uh, husband? Marido. Marido. Remember, marido is one of those words where it's really good to practice your R sounds in Spanish. And I'm sure you remember our discussion last week. So the word for husband is? Marido. Marido, marido. And what about son? Hijo. Hijo. Muy bien. Hijo. Now, to say my son, my father, my sister, and so on, the word for my is? Mi. Mi. Of course it is. Mi madre. Mi padre. Mi hermano. And so on. And remember, in Spanish, when we're speaking Spanish, you always try to run the words together. Mi hermano. Mi hermano. Mi hermano. Mi hermano. Mi hija. Mi hija. Mi hija. Mi hija. Muy bien. If mi padre means my father, Cara, can you tell me what you think tu padre means? Your father. Your father. It does indeed. And it's tu padre. It's an informal your. So it's tu padre. Tu padre. <laughs> tu padre. And what would your mother be? Tu madre. Tu madre. Tu madre. Tu madre, muy bien. Your son? Tu hijo. Tu hijo. And one last one, your husband. Tu marido. Tu marido, muy bien. So there's another word for you. Tu means your. Now, if you're using your PDF guide, you'll already have noticed that there's a difference in spelling. You've already learned the word tu in the phrase y tu, which means... 
And you. And you, yeah. But the word tu in that phrase has an accent on it. Y tu, and you. The word tu, as in your husband, tu marido, doesn't have an accent. So that's the difference, and that's how you can tell whether it's you or your. Do accents in Spanish change the sound of the word? They don't change the sound of the word, they change the, where the stress lies. So, unlike in French, where an accent might change the, the sound of the letter E, an E acute would be E, and an E grave would be E. In Spanish, there's no change in the actual sound of the word. It changes where the stress happens. Or in some cases, like the word for tu, the accent helps to differentiate between the two meanings of the word. So tu with the accent means you, and tu without the accent means your. And there's a few other examples that we'll come across in, in Spanish um, of this. So hopefully that helped to explain. Thank you. Okay, we're going to learn a couple of other words here that are still linked to the family. And these are words that children would use. We've already learned the words madre and padre. But just so that you know, children are more likely to say mama. Mama. And papa. Papa. Now, just one other wee thing. We mentioned accents already. Mama and papa both have accents on the last syllable. Normally, Spanish words are pronounced on the second last syllable. Think of the word ahora that you learned a couple of programmes ago. Ahora. What does ahora mean? No. No, exactly. Think of uh, donde vives. Donde vives. Again, both words have the accent or the stress on the first syllable. But mama, if it didn't have the accent, would be mama. Okay, okay makes sense? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Muy bien. Bueno, mama y papa. Mama y papa. Tu mama. Tu mama. Tu papa. Tu papa. Mi mama. Mi mama. Mi papa. Mi papa. Muy bien, perfecto. Bueno, vamos a seguir. Vamos a continuar. We're going to continue with something else. We're now going to learn how to say I have a sister. I have in Spanish is tengo. 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 Spelled T-E-N-G-O. Tengo. Tengo. So in the phrase, I have a sister, there's one word that we haven't actually covered yet, and that is the word for a. Tengo a sister. We know the word for sister, which is? Hermana. Hermana. The word for a in Spanish is one of these words that changes depending on whether it's a masculine or a feminine noun which follows. So a sister would be una hermana. Una hermana. Una hermana. Una hermana. A mother would be una madre. Una madre. Una madre. Una madre. A daughter, una hija. Una hija. Una hija. Una hija. Muy bien. So the word for a, for feminine nouns, is una. Una. How would you say then, I have a sister? Tengo una hermana. Muy bien. Tengo una hermana. Tengo una hermana. Tengo una hermana. Now, listeners, can you work out how you would say, I have a daughter? Cara? Tengo una hija. Tengo una hija. Tengo una hija. Muy bien. Tengo una hija. Tengo una hermana. So, the word for a, when you're talking about feminine nouns, is una. When you're talking about masculine nouns, it's un. 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 Un hermano. Un hermano. Un hijo. Un hijo. Un padre. Un padre. Un marido. Un marido. Okay, so un is the masculine word for a. Un. Un. If you have ever studied French and you know the word une, U-N-E, try not to pronounce un in Spanish like une in French. It's quite tricky to avoid the two, especially if you're used to speaking in French, but there are definitely two different u or u sounds. Une in French, un in Spanish. 
And by the way, if you would rather we didn't draw these comparisons with other languages, then let us know. I find it's quite useful, especially for those of you who do speak French or indeed other languages, um, to draw comparisons and pronunciation and so on. But if you'd rather we didn't, then let us know. So, un hermano. Un hermano. Un hijo. Un hijo. Una madre. Una madre. Una hermana. Una hermana. Muy bien. How would you say then, I have a brother? Tengo un hermano. Tengo un hermano. I have a son. Tengo un hijo. Tengo un hijo. Perfecto. Now that's all very well if you've got one brother or one sister or one son, one daughter. But it's quite likely that you'll need other numbers to be able to talk about your family. So it's now time to actually learn the numbers in Spanish. Now, if you thought the American accents last week were bad, then this week is going to get even worse because we're going to learn with some rhythm. Uno. Dos. Tres. Cuatro. Can you repeat that? Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Otra vez. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Y cuatro. Y cuatro. Una vez más. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Okay, it's time to move on. We're now going to do the numbers from five to eight. ¿Estás lista? Sí. Cinco. Seis. Siete. Ocho. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. Seis. Siete. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Otra vez. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. Seis. Siete. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Una vez más. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. Seis. Siete. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Okay, so we've done one to eight. We're now going to finish off with nine and ten. Nueve. Diez. Okay, try repeating those. Nueve. Nueve. Diez. Diez. Muy bien. Let's put everything together from one. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. Seis. Siete. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Nueve. Nueve. Diez. Diez. Muy bien, excelente. Now we're really going to put you to the test here. And let's try it double speed. Okay? ¿Lista? Sí. Muy bien, venga. Uno. Uno. Dos. Dos. Tres. Tres. Cuatro. Cuatro. Cinco. Cinco. Seis. Seis. Siete. Siete. Ocho. Ocho. Nueve. Nueve. Diez. Diez. Muy bien, excelente. Una vez más, venga. Uno, uno, dos, dos, tres, tres, cuatro, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis, seis, siete, siete, ocho, ocho, nueve, nueve, diez, diez. Perfecto, excelente, muy bien. So now you've no excuse for not knowing your numbers. That's all very well learning the numbers one by one and so on. But what we need to do is put them into sentences. We've already said, I have one brother. It's now time to learn how to say, I have two brothers, three brothers, and so on. It's very straightforward. What you need to do is make your noun plural. The word hermano means brother. To say brothers, you say hermanos. 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 So, I have one brother. Tengo un hermano. Tengo un hermano. I have two brothers. What's the word for two again? Dos. Dos. So, I have two brothers. Tengo dos hermanos. Tengo dos hermanos. I have two sisters. Tengo dos hermanas. Hermanas. Yep, you just do the same. Add an S to the end of the word. So, tengo dos hermanos. Tengo dos hermanos. Perfecto. How would you say, I have two sons? Tengo dos hijos. Tengo dos hijos. Perfecto. I have two daughters. Tengo dos hijas. 
Tengo dos hijas. I have two husbands. Tengo dos maridos. Tengo dos maridos. And here's a tricky one. I have two wives. Would it be tengo dos mujeres? Well, in this case, because it ends in a consonant, R, you add an ES, not just an S. So, tengo dos mujeres. Tengo dos mujeres. Mujeres. Hopefully, you won't be needing to say, I have two wives or husbands or anything like that. We'll <laughs> stick to brothers and sisters and sons and daughters. Excellent stuff. There's one more thing that we need to learn here, and that is to say their names are. Last week we said his name is, her name is. This week we're going to learn how to say their names are. Tengo un hermano, se llama Jorge. Can you repeat that, please? Tengo un hermano, se llama Jorge. Jorge, exactly. Yeah, it's a really tricky name, but it's a good name to practice the ch sound of Spanish. Se llama Jorge. Se llama Jorge. Muy bien. If you've got two brothers, tengo dos hermanos. Tengo dos hermanos. And this time it's not se llama, but se llaman. Se llaman. Se llaman. Se llaman. Tengo dos hermanos. Se llaman Jorge y Pablo. Tengo dos hermanos. Se llaman Jorge y Pablo. Perfecto. Now, I said earlier that today we've got a really special guest here in the studio with us. And the special guest is going to be talking to you in Spanish, and hopefully you'll be able to understand what he's saying. So, listen carefully. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Matthew. Muy bien. ¿Y quién eres? Soy tu hijo. Eres mi papá. Sí, yo soy tu papá. Y tú eres mi hijo. Muy bien. Now, I asked our guest, ¿Quién eres? You've already heard the word eres. It means, are you? So, ¿Quién means who? ¿Quién eres? Who are you? Matthew replied, Soy tu hijo. Cara, can you work out what that means? I am your son. I am your son. It is indeed. And Matthew is indeed my son. And we're really, really pleased that Matthew has been here today to help us with Coffee Break Spanish. Muchas gracias, Matthew. Gracias a ti, papá. I hope you all enjoy listening to Coffee Break Spanish and I'll see you again soon. Coffee Break, Coffee Break Español. Bueno, ¿qué tal hoy? ¿Bien? ¿Regular? ¿Fatal? Estupendo. We hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Ideally, you should listen to this lesson each day. Remember, it's important to learn how to read and write the language too. Our PDF guide will help you even more with this. In each guide, all the language covered in the show is explained, and we also provide a list of bonus vocabulary to help you increase your range of expression. Last but not least, there's our Top Up Revision podcast. This combines all the language covered in each lesson with relaxing music and is an alternative way of revising the new words and phrases and the bonus vocabulary from the PDF guide. You'll also hear more from today's special guest in the Top Up podcast. Our listeners have been asking what's coming up in future podcasts. We'll be covering jobs and pastimes in the next few weeks, and then we'll move on to finding your way about the town, buying things, and, of course, ordering a coffee. We're also working on a special festive show, with lots of seasonal words and phrases wrapped up in Christmas cheer. Remember that you can get in touch with us, email your comments and suggestions to us, even better, try out your Spanish by recording yourself on your computer or your mobile phone, and send us the recording. If you're enjoying the Coffee Break Spanish experience, please leave a comment on the blog. You can also vote for us on Podcast Alley or leave us a review on iTunes. If you can't think what to write, try one of the Spanish words you've learned so far. We'd suggest fenomenal or estupendo. <laughs> That's about it for this week. We'll be back with more Coffee Break Spanish next time. In the meantime, muchas gracias y hasta la semana que viene. Keep listening to Coffee Break Spanish and tell all your friends about it. Gracias a todos. Hasta pronto. If you're learning Spanish with Coffee Break Spanish, don't forget that you can get much more out of your Coffee Break Spanish experience by becoming a premium member. 
You can sign up for a bronze, silver, gold or platinum membership and, depending on which membership you go for, you can get access to lesson guides explaining all the vocabulary and language points covered, transcripts of all dialogues included in our lessons, enhanced podcasts which provide synchronised flashcards for use on iPods and iPhones, extra listening materials in the form of top-up podcasts, and for our Platinum members, there are word lists for each group of lessons, worksheets and answer keys, access to abridged versions of the show to speed up your learning, and comprehensive Coffee Break Spanish dictionaries. Full details, including pricing, are available at mycoffeebreakspanish.com. This podcast was brought to you by the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at www.radiolingua.com.